What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of server issue or error you're currently having with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to take your keyboard and click the Windows and the R key at the same time. So you're gonna open up your run tab where you're gonna type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, this tab will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So just simply type it in IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once you hit enter, I want you to just simply end this task. You're going to see successfully flushed or something like that. So end this and go to the bottom left corner where you're going to click into the Windows symbol and open up your settings. I want you to click onto network and internet and go there where it says network and sharing center. What I want you to do here is going to be to click into troubleshoot for problems. Well, you're going to use Windows in order to find any kind of issue or problem you could currently have. Next step is going to be to click into change adapter settings, so the second link on the top left corner, and disable your Ethernet or Internet connection. You're going to restart it by doing that, so just disable it and enable it again. This could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected. Going to wait for that. Afterwards, you should be able to just end this task and return back to the network and sharing center. Wait patiently. Now you could turn it back, click into the blueprint the text where it says either Internet or Ethernet, hit Properties, double click Internet Protocol version 4, and enable use the following DNS server addresses. On a preferred DNS server, as on the alternate DNS server, you should, should just Google your Google DNS server address and type it in, or 4 times 8 at the top and 2 times 4 and 2 times 8 at the bottom. Afterwards, hit OK and apply. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah, I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.